Today, I'm gonna be creating a realistic Spider-Man scene completely out of tape. For this form of art, I had to start by sketching out which parts of the scene would be lighter and which parts would be darker. Basically, what's gonna happen here is that after I've cut out and layered all these tiny bits of tape, I'm gonna shine a light behind the scene at the end of the video, and it's gonna create a super realistic and honestly shocking effect. Now, to actually get that initial pencil sketch on the taped paper, you can either use the grid method, freehand sketch it, or use a stencil if you really want it to be perfect. Then it was time to individually cut out the hundreds of tiny pieces of tape and layer them on top of each other, which took... It took an embarrassingly long amount of time, but I'll tell you exactly how many hours this took in a minute. You'll see in a second what I mean by layering the tape bits on top of each other, but for now, just take a second to enjoy this cutting montage. Now while I finished cutting up layer 1, I actually wanted to get your opinion on something. This may be a bit of an unpopular opinion, but I think the new Spider-Man 2 game is the greatest video game ever made. This is not a sponsor in any way, I just honestly think it was a perfect game. I would say my top 3 video games are probably Spider-Man 2, The Last of Us Part 1, and Batman Arkham Knight. I feel like the new Spider-Man game was all around fantastic. It was fast paced, gave us all the suits we wanted, and we got to verse all the villains we could have imagined. The Last of Us, I would say, is the greatest story ever told. The story in that game was just brought tears to my eyes for the fourth time after playing it. And then Batman Arkham Knight, the Batmobile mechanics, and even the graphics in that game look better than pretty much all the games coming out today. But let me know in the comments, do you agree with my list of the top three video games, or do you think there's a video game better than all three of these? I mean, it comes down to opinion, but I'm pretty solid on my list, so let me know down below. But well, after I was done cutting out all the pieces for layer 1, I had to paste them on top of the base layer to start creating those varying thicknesses, so that when I shine a light behind it, the different thicknesses will create lighter or darker areas. Now before I reveal the total amount of time this whole project took, at this point I was 8 hours into it, and honestly not that close to being finished, so if you wouldn't mind, please take a second to hit the like button now. As I was working on this part, there are a few things that I didn't consider which led to some pretty big and frustrating problems later on, but you'll see what those were in a second. Thank you. Now after this was done, it was time to create layer 2, which was pretty similar to layer 1, where we're going to cut out a bunch of pieces of tape and layer them on top of each other to create darker areas or shadows. When I hit the 10 hour mark, I was honestly ready to just give up because my mat was so cut up and there were eraser bits everywhere that they were sticking to the back of the tape and ruining the visual effect. And the tips of my blades kept breaking off, but I had already spent my entire week on this, so I decided to just suck it up, buy a new mat, buy some new blades, and finish off the project. Alright, we made it. Now I'm going to show you the final result. And all I ask is that if you like it, you absolutely destroy that like button. But for the very, very last step, I had to take the picture and put it inside of a picture frame light box, make it portable, and really drive home the effect. And finding lights that actually worked and were strong enough for this was a whole mission in itself. I worked it out and I'm super happy with the results. So get ready for the reveal in 3, 2, 1. If you want to own an art piece like this for yourself, make sure you check out the tag product on this video because I'm selling a few of them just like this but they're super limited and they're gonna go fast. Let me know in the comments which you would rate this art piece from 1 to 10 and tell me in the comments suggestions for what I should make next. As promised, this entire art piece took me 14 and a half hours. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and I hope to see you back here again soon. Peace.